Welcome back. Right, let's start with uh, NumPy. NumPy, or as some people pronounce it, NumPy is a really powerful um, array library or array package uh, that can be added to the standard Python. So the standard Python um, does have some array functionality, but NumPy adds a lot more to it. And if we check the website, numpy.org, we can find a lot of information that um, it's a powerful n-dimensional array object, um, it has sophisticated functions, and so on and so forth. And for us, we're quite lucky because we have three, uh, Python 3.5 and a Condas Python, the one we installed and introduced over the last few couple of videos. And NumPy or NumPy comes uh, automatically uh, with, with that, so we don't have to actually install it manually. If we look here, I can find NumPy tutorial. I prefer to call it NumPy personally. NumPy tutorial, and if we visit that page, then we can have the basics. So NumPy's main object is the homogeneous multidimensional array. It's a table of elements, so usually numbers, but it can be um, anything really. But uh, it's basically a table of elements, and then if it's multidimensional, then it becomes a table of tables, or a table, a table of tables of tables, and so on and so forth. And uh, once we uh, import the package, we have access to several um, several functions. So to import the package, oh, let's go actually, I'm sorry, let's go, because I'm using a virtual machine, let's go to the to our Jupyter and create a, a new notebook, and let's give it a name, maybe something like numpy intro and say OK and to import it all you need to do is import NumPy and we can say we can say as NP so that's like a shortcut name and that's the standard amongst the community is to uh, have it as NP so shift enter to import it and then uh, for example if we want to create um, an array then we have this uh, function a range we can copy just that for example and do shift enter and it gives us an array of objects um, that's a, I'm sorry an array of integers 15 uh, elements from 0 to 14 because it's a range and you must have noticed that we actually have this function reshape um, that we can use on the array so if I say here I say for example a equals a range then a is my array I can say a dot reshape and then I say, for example, uh, 3 by 5. I do shift enter and then the array gets reshaped. Now it's a two dimensional array with three rows and five columns. Uh, another thing we can do is because we've saved it into an A, we can use the function shape to check the shape of the array. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, we've not saved this. So we can say A equals A dot reshape and now A dot shape is. Uh, a 3 by 5 array. Uh, one thing we can do is if we wanted to check for example the type check the type uh, it's of type integer 64 bits or if we wanted to check the dimensions how many dimensions it has this one is a 2D array but like I said before we can have uh, more than two dimensions like 3, 4, 5 uh, and so on and so forth um, and the size is, you know, how many elements we have. Like, for example, we can say a dot size, um, and it has 15 elements. And always remember that anything we can do here, we should be able to do in a Python script or uh, if we use um, uh, what, what's the IDE called? Uh, spider. Yes, sorry, sorry, I've forgotten. The spider or PyCharm or your favorite uh, Python IDE. Uh, what else can we do here? Yeah, another thing we can do is, let's say we have a list of elements, like for example, ls equals uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then um, we can say, sorry, np dot array, and then we pass it the list, and it transforms that list into an array. So now, arr is an array. 
and in fact even if we have a list of lists so if we wrap that into another couple of square brackets and then now we can say three four five six seven eight and now we transform it into a numpy array just using the array function um, from the uh, numpy package and now it becomes a two-dimensional uh, array um, another uh, interesting thing that if, if we wanted to have for example things like um, an empty array maybe so I can say NP and by the way just do NP dot and then tab and you will have a list of the functions that you can have you can notice that we can, can have some absolute values we can do addition and we can do multiplications and we'll come to that in the in coming videos but uh, one thing we can have here for example is an array of zeros like you know array full of zeros maybe I want to have a hundred zeros so that's an array and if I if I reshape that if I say for example my array equals a of zeros and then a dot reshape it and we can reshape it into for example uh, 10 by 10 and then you have that or we can reshape it let's say for example if we just wanted to have a look at a three-dimensional array 2 by 5 2 by 5 by 10 and as you can see we can have that okay so it's an array of arrays of arrays right um, I think we can have also an array of ones so NP dot ones as well so full of ones uh, a similar idea just two elements and so on and so forth plenty of power function as we mentioned before and the two last things I wanted to show here are um, NP dot I which give which gives us the identity array so notice this is um, an array of arrays now but all the elements are zeros except the elements on the diagonal that's the identity array and um, what else did we want to show or shall we stop here um, yeah one last thing is maybe to show the empty array so n mp dot empty and then let's say for example an empty array of five elements and you know this just it just has some of these very very small numbers which are you know, very close to zero so this these are all like can be considered zero so uh, this is an empty array like for e equals or let's do it here e equals that and then if I say e is the same thing right see it's very close to zero or it's actually uh, can, or it can be considered zero right I'm think I'm gonna stop here and let's continue uh, yeah in the next video okay thanks for watching and I'll see you next time where we can do some array operations